Why should you use profiles in Autodesk Inventor? Coming up. Hey, this is Tyler Beck. Today we're gonna to be talking about using profiles within Autodesk Inventor. So when creating a design or a 3D model, we begin with a sketch. And in this sketch, you can see that I didn't actually trim all the entities. I didn't take the time to clean this out. This allows me greater flexibility when working with my sketches to make my parts. So if we're gonna use profiles, this can be helpful when I'm doing all the same depth, but it afforded me that luxury of not having to trim everything, uh, letting me sketch a little faster, maybe even putting in different complexity or dimensions. That's the first way of doing things. The simple way to do that, if I undo, is I start an extrude, I choose the profile method, it's actually already chosen for me, I didn't have to click it, but I select these other entities, I can even choose to fill in the holes, giving me, again, a little bit more flexibility in how I create the 3D model. Hit OK, that's done, great. Another method, and this is one I love to use within Inventor, is the ability to do multiple depths if I said, make this cylinder taller than the end cylinder and make the middle section even the, the, the most shallow or the shortest, let's do that now. This one takes a little bit more getting used to. We'll hit extrude. We'll put in a value of, let's call it half inch. You'll hit OK. Now here's the trick, is you need to find that sketch that was absorbed and right click and you have a couple options they both get you the same end result if you choose turn it on the visibility or share sketch if i turn on the visibility i can now see that sketch i hit extrude or e on my keyboard i'm going to extrude a smaller depth of let's say quarter inch and now We'll hit extrude again because the sketch is visible and shared. It's able to be utilized again. I'll be sure to join on that material. And this time we'll put in a value of 0.35. So now you can see I have three profiles, but they're all at three different depths. The visibility is still on and perhaps I'd wanna turn off that visibility and not see those sketches anymore. But you'll notice when you hover over the sketch, it says that it's a shared and fully constrained sketch. So both get you the same result, either turning on visibility or shared, but you need that in order to define multiple depth profiles. Why is this helpful? Well, this allows me to create one intelligent sketch that I can then update and change. Instead of doing three separate sketches, three separate features, I now have one place where I can define what I care about, define how this behaves, and maybe make life a little bit easier in working with just one sketch location. I hope that's helpful. If you have any questions, post them down below and don't forget to subscribe. Thanks.